We've been waiting a long time to go from CT under general anesthesia to CT standing. Today we're going with live radiation and we're getting real images. So this was not just some sort of test run, this was the real thing. And um, it went off perfectly. We brought her in uh, with a little bit of tranquilizer on board and then brought her up onto the deck for the scan itself. This is a big step forward to be able to do this in the standing animal. We started on the front limbs today. It went very well, very smoothly. After front limbs, we turned her around, reversed her in the gantry, and did the rear limbs. Finally went with the head and neck. Um, and that worked out, so it was some good imagery. The big advantage of the CT is the quality of the imagery for orthopedic conditions, whether it's soft tissue or hard tissue. And now we've got a way to do it without the risk and cost of the anesthetic. The horse performed well, um, did not have any untoward uh, reaction from her, and uh, I think from the perspective of the imagery, it uh, went phenomenally good. The reason why we need to scan horses is that they are part of just a, a multi-billion dollar entertainment industry in the North American and European fields. They get injured in many different ways, so we have to use imagery a lot to both diagnose where the issue is and how severe it is. We can get high detail in terms of both the structure and the relative anatomy and pathology as well. And the nice thing is, is that we can use this for both hard tissue and soft tissue. We've been needing this in the equine industry for a standing situation for a long time. This is going to open it up in terms of cost and additionally it's going to open it up to many more practices who perhaps don't have the facilities to do general anesthesia.